very powerful testimony, and Hinduism is a very beautiful, peaceful religion, and I certainly commend. And what we're going to have to work on is, at the end of the day, not a religious argument to make this work, but a practical argument in the sense where, as you mentioned in your data, there is a significant number of students and staff that observe this very important uh, uh, holiday. And uh, it is wrong to punish them, to mark them absent, where it, it affects their academic performance and it affects staff's job performance. And it's that practical argument of the number of students, the number of staff, that is what's going to get this done. Um, because technically, the government is not allowed to pass a law recognizing a religion, but it was because of the practical issues with the other religions. Um, that's why they have certain days off. Now, it's not 1950 anymore. And so, yeah. and that, right, it, times have changed. And they've added other days, for example, with the Lunar New Year. Um, I think over 15% of students in our school system identify as Asian American. And so from a practical sense, they said, they're marking a significant number of kids absent and staff. And so here, you, you, you are spot on to say that the number of students and staff observing this very important holiday is also rising. And it is not, it is not practical and is not right to mark everyone absent on this day, which affects their academic performance and their job performance. So keep the data, the data, and I have your testimony, make sure I get it. The number of students and staff observing this day, how it's rising every single year that the city of New York is punishing people, that is what's going to win this argument at the end of the day. You've already, you've won the council, you know, we are with, we're with you. Now we have to, it's, it's the mayor and the chancellor that now have to implement right. this policy. And I commend you and I thank you for your testimony here today. Thank Chairman you. Chairman Trigger, I just wanted to end with this, just a point that you can argue to. It is a de uh, deprivation of the right of public education right. in that sense. So if you don't want to put on the fundamental right of breach of religious freedom, you can come back with a uh, right of a, a breach of a, of a fundamental public education, for the breach of a fundamental right. Thailand, those right. that case on that, Thailand, Brung, and, and you can use that to show that it amounts to that, and hence it's unconstitutional. The, the most powerful um, testimony today is certainly, I, I, I admire everyone here, the most powerful testimony today is when young people, students, testified that they are being marked absent Indeed. For, obs for, for, for observing one of the most holiest days in their family, and they're being punished. Educational life. That is the most powerful yeah. and outrageous thing that we should not be allowing in New York City. Indeed. So thank you very much for your testimony. Appreciate you. Thank, thank you. you, Chairman. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.